Welcome. This is the second example in our series of uh, Windows 32 assembly language examples. Uh, this uh, example will be very basic. It will be a Windows uh, console application. Uh, basically what it does, it asks the user for his name and uh, read that, then display back that name to the user. So basically it's very simple, but it will give us an idea on how to write Windows uh, uh, console application in uh, MASM32. So I don't want to uh, do the hello world uh, example because it's all already in the with the package uh, that uh, you have installed. Okay, so we go to code and create new application. This is for the hello world. So hello, and I want just to show you. So I load the, the program and here it is. It's very basic and you can study it in your own. Here is the instruction on how to uh, build the console application. We go to project, then make it. It's a batch file. So we have generated a, a hello.exe and a hello.obg. Okay, we can execute the program from here. And there we have our message and they press any key to continue. So let's do uh, uh, create our uh, program. So the first thing we do is specify, of course, the processor we are targeting, then the model of the memory, so it's uh, flat, then the STD uh, standard convention uh, to pass parameters uh, to a function, then option, case map, it's none, so we don't uh, want the, the function to be case sensitive. Okay, and then the first thing we do is always include the MASM32 windows.enc. Then also I will include the MASM32 uh, include uh, what is it? MASM32.enc. Also include MASM. I don't know what the neighbors are doing. <laughs> uh, uh, so include kernel dot uh, enc. Then include live uh, uh, It's live. Uh, it's mazum thirty two dot live. Then include the last library, which is the MASM32 slide, and it's a kernel 32 dot line. Okay, we have the header file. Now let's declare the uh, data. The first thing is the first message, which will be just type your name. The null character always then message to ah, here I did forget uh, DB to specify the type of the, the message then the your your name is uh, again the null character that's for the initialized data now with the non initialized data which is basically the buffer in which we will read what the what the user will uh, type. Okay, then we write the code itself. So code starts with a label and with a label. Okay. Now invoke the first function, which is std out with the address of the first message so basically it will display the first message on the console the second uh, function is std in this function will read the what the user will type to the buffer okay then invoke std out the address of the second message so we will display the second message and uh, that will be also displayed with the std out address the buffer 
I will display the buffer and I don't want the program to quit when executing this so I will tell it to wait by uh, using the std in uh, function with the address of the buffer itself it's 100 character ok it will wait uh, until the user types uh, any key and then we uh, quit the program with the exit process and uh, return uh, 0 ok basically this is like in C return 0 uh, ok I think that's it let's save this and name it as test 02.esm let's cross our fingers and build cancel build all ok that uh, went uh, good so let's execute the program there we go type your name my name is Hakim and your name is Hakim so that worked perfectly which is nice DIR and here we see the programs uh, the program you just want this uh, for the last time where is it this is for the last time ah here is the okay so thank you